right, let's look at the law of conservation of energy. Energy is neither created nor destroyed. It is converted from one form to another. We saw this in the case of a ball being thrown up into the air. If our zero position is where the blue arrow is, that ball is given kinetic energy. It has kinetic energy that is converted as it rises into potential energy. All of the kinetic is converted to potential energy at the top. The total energy, though, for that system remains unchanged. Now let's take a look at what happens if we have friction. In the law of conservation of energy, mechanical energy is conserved if there is no friction. But if there is friction, now we are doing work against that friction. What's happening is some of the mechanical energy that we have is being turned into thermal energy. Uh, some of that mechanical energy is rubbing uh, against the friction and it's creating this thermal energy. So we write this down as Fd. That's the work against friction, the force of friction times the distance. If you remember, when we looked at mechanical energy alone and uh, conservative forces, we would have a situation like this. At the initial state, we may have kinetic energy and potential energy. That's what we have now available. There it is. And um, now that is distributed at the end, our final position, uh, this kinetic energy and potential. Whatever's left over must be the same as what we started. If we have friction now, we put this on the right of the equation because what's happening is this mechanical energy that we have initially, some of it has to go into work against friction. And so uh, whatever's left is the you know, kinetic energy, potential energy, and now work against friction or the gain in thermal energy. There's one more thing to consider, and that's what if there's an external force? Something from the outside now comes in and does work on that system. Here is a, an external force lifting that little block up the incline. Now, if that's the case, work is being done and added to this system. So we will write that onto the left of our equation. Here's the work external, and what is it? It is the force external times the distance. This is now the work that we have initially, the work the system has, and then it will equal the kinetic plus the potential plus whatever work is done against friction.